So the third step of transcription is the termination phase. And this has occurred after initiation where the various transcription factors bound the promoter, and then the elongation phase where it moved from the three end to the five end of the DNA and produced new RNA nucleotides in the five to three direction. And the final step then is how does it know when the process of transcription is completed as far as the primary transcript goes? And the way that this happens is that it will meet or approach some kind of termination sequence. The termination sequence isn't necessarily conserved throughout all genes, but there is some sequence that indicates that it's the end of the coding region and now we've reached a point where the transcription process will stop. And when this occurs, the RNA polymerase will then be released from the template strand. And there isn't that much to know about it other than that there is a DNA sequence that signifies that termination is about to occur. But there can be some proteins known as rho proteins, rho after the Greek letter. And these can sometimes bind to the termination sequence over here and they can facilitate the process of the RNA polymerase leaving. But essentially that's all you need to know about termination. It essentially continues to move along this coding region and produce the primary transcript and then at some point it gets a signal from the DNA that it's time to stop transcription and termination must occur. The only other thing is that these rho proteins may be involved in this process and facilitate the unbinding of the RNA polymerase from the DNA. And once that happens, then the primary transcript will be ready for processing of introns and exons and capping and adding a poly A tail. And then it will be ready to move on to the next phase of the central dogma, which is the translation of that mRNA into proteins. Mm -hmm.